Hi, I'm Eric Johnson. I'm the CTO at GitLab, and I'm excited to be here at Commit, where this year's theme is Innovate Together. Um, and with that, I want to welcome a special guest and partner, Rick Carey, the group CTO at UBS. Um, so UBS is one of the world's largest financial firms, um, and they provide advice and uh, solutions to clients worldwide. And we announced our collaboration on DevOps about a year ago. Um, and Rick, I thought you could start by talking about um, your initial goals for this collaboration when we set out together. Thanks, Eric. We want technology to be a differentiator for us at UBS and for that to be able to engineer solutions that offer a truly seamless client experience. To do that, we, we thought last year about how to actually change that experience for the engineers and developers and been giving them the best platforms and tools. So we created DevCloud. So DevCloud revolutionized the way UBS builds and engineers and develops with a single DevOps platform and allows a cloud-based service-oriented development lifecycle. Now, GitLab is a fundamental part of DevCloud. Without it, we wouldn't be able to have that seamless experience. And it allowed us to pull ahead of many of our competitors and break down the barriers between coding, testing, and deployment. And we have an expression about uh, at, at UBS that all developers wait at the same speed. And anything we can do to reduce where they are waiting for something is value added. And GitLab allows us to have that integrated experience where they're not waiting for what they have next, what goes on, previous things, next things, and so on and so forth. So that they build cloud native applications on a cloud native platform and having a best in class developer experience. That was our goal. And you couldn't have been better partner to us as we started to go forward with that. Great. That sounds like it was very much in line with how we view our differentiators. We're a single application for the whole DevOps lifecycle, and of course, we're open source. And so it's not just GitLab developing our product, uh, it's our community and it's our users and, and customers as well. Um, and we typically see um, companies benefit from the faster cycle time, um, reduced admin and maintenance overhead, and uh, better quality and security as an output. Um, and the end users benefit as well. So we see engineers talking about being more effective, um, how easy it is to collaborate on a single platform and how they're able uh, to identify security risks uh, much earlier in their, uh, in their process. Um, so maybe you could take us through some of the details about us, the setup of that production environment. Well, the plan was pretty ambitious. Uh, we, 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 we felt that doing this over a long period of time wouldn't really meet the ethos of, of, of what DevOps and being cloud native and really what you offered to us. So we did a lot of work to get it up and running into a, a user format. And then we did what we kind of called a soft launch. And we did that at our hackathon. And if you remember the hackathon last year was in the right and smack in the middle of COVID. So your traditional hackathon where you're locking people in the same room and you have them all there and you have a very regional centric approach, we knew we couldn't do that. And we wanted to have truly global development, yet still have that seamless team experience. So that soft launch of DevCloud was our hackathon. And boy, was it amazing. I, the output of there, it was hard to pick a winner because nearly every program, every team built something absolutely incredible in such a short amount of time. And they got so much done that even they, as they were channeling and chatting with each other, were saying, I can't believe how easy it is to get this done. It was tremendously hard to pick a winner. And that's something we're really proud about. And then once this hackathon was successful, we knew that we were going to be able to migrate the rest of our engineers to DevCloud. Yeah, collaboration is one of the GitLab's core values. And uh, it seemed key to this project. We set common goals, we we're in constant communication, and we were always working together to move those roadblocks. And uh, I want to highlight that again, that this was an all remote, globally distributed project team it required no in-person collaboration for the, the life cycle of this kickoff project. Uh, and it was completed, as I understand, um, this past winter, um, late 2021. Um, and I, I must say, it's uh, it's uncommon in my experience to see such a large organization, let alone one in such a compliance-driven industry as finance, to take on such a large project and deliver it on time. And my understanding, it was um, not just source control management, but also uh, CI, which is uh, incredibly impressive. What we made it possible was, um, and we, we have a little joke, whenever we give a dev cloud update, we say, we're far from perfect today, but we're improving. And I think as we looked and worked together, you know, in a, in a kind of an open source model was every time there was a gap or an issue or something we just needed your help with, we could reach out to you and say, can we work on this together as a way to improve this? 
And that's the value. And that's one of the reasons we went with GitLab is your open source mantra allows the benefit for what we contribute, what you contribute, what others contribute, and to build that fantastic experience. And it never, you will never have a perfect fit for purpose product day one for anybody. Every company is going to be different. But what we found was when we worked with you together, when we had a gap or an issue or something that needed to be improved upon, we found a really easy path to do that. We improved, we engaged, and everybody benefited from that. And the teams are really proud of that. The teams are proud of that. They were able to do that work themselves sometimes, work with your engineers to get it done. And it was a fantastic experience because there's no one size fits all. You're going to have to fit into a company that's complex, financial services, a lot of complexity in that, but other industries as well. And what that is important is to be able to collaborate, work together. And then when we improve the product for one, it improves for all. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've seen a number of benefits from our open source model. As a board member of the Linux Foundation, I'll take the opportunity to quote uh, Linus's law, which is um, with enough eyes, all bugs are shallow. We've certainly found that to be true. But I think more importantly, we view what most companies consider traditional product development as really a process of co-invention with our users and, uh, and customers. And I think that was definitely realized in this case. Um, we see UBS team members contributing to our forums, which is fantastic. Um, and at a higher level, we're both, uh, uh, meaning uh, UBS and GitLab members of the uh, Finos, the FinTech Open Source Foundation, as well as the, uh, the CNCF, right? Yeah, I think they're both usually important for both of us um, and being able to, to set those standards and to understand what it is, especially being cloud native and having GitLab being a cloud native platform. And, and I want to point out for a lot of people out there is that just because we say dev cloud and it's cloud native and it doesn't, it doesn't mean we can't develop for non-cloud native or, or traditional applications. We do development for both our cloud native applications and our traditional applications on-prem all on DevCloud, all through GitLab. And that contribution and being able to, as we create our journey to being cloud native and the Cloud Native Computing Foundation is a fantastic partner. Um, it doesn't mean you have to be, make that big day one, right? You can have that kind of incremental journey to be able to have a cloud native experience for the engineers day one, even when they're building not cloud native applications. But you get encouraged to do that. What we find is they, they really love it and they want to continue to be in that world and they continue to make that journey. Yeah, and there are a number of examples of that co-invention I mentioned. Um, I think most prominently the auto-scaled shared runners that uh, the UBS contributed. That was great to see. Um, I know there was some UBS-specific self-paced training that we launched. Um, and the hackathon you mentioned, I, I want to say there were something like 40 or so tier one applications that were launched in that single a hackathon period, which is uh, incredible. And um, it was bi-directional. I mean, from the GitLab side, we learned a tremendous amount about the um, compliance and uh, risk processes that are unique to the financial sector. Um, and we benefited from that and our community will benefit from that uh, as well. Um, so with that, um, that kind of brings us up to current date. I'm, I'm curious, Rick, where uh, you think we'll go from here? Well, we have over 12,000 people on the dev cloud now and, and more to come. Uh, it, it, the best best feedback we've gotten so far, um, I, I had a business person in a call and um, he wanted to actually do some development and he was complaining about all the ways that he was told that he had to do development. And then I said, well, then we should use dev cloud. And he said, oh, you, that's dev cloud? I love dev cloud. It's the other tools that I can't stand. Everything's great on DevCloud. So, they, and this was a business person. So, not just our engineers, not just the you know, the hardcore developers. We look at expanding out DevCloud to anyone who's doing an engineering experience, and they rave about it when they get there. There's a little bit of a transition cost. Don't get me wrong; it's not free. You got to do the work to get there, but the payback is immediate. You get there, and you're more productive. You're faster. We never talk about um, you know the the costs of doing things like this. We talk about the productivity because that's what sells, right? We ran our hackathon, by the way. We never actually, um, we didn't make this an objective, but our hackathon this year was one seventh the cost from an infrastructure perspective from the year before because we ran on DevCloud. And so we like to see more templates in there. We've got things going on in the SRE space. Um, and there are more personas that we'd like to see be able to engage DevCloud and get the benefits of that type of integrated experience. Um, and I understand, I've heard a rumor that you're getting into the machine learning space, which I'm very, very interested in. So uh, I'd like to see where that roadmap takes us there. That's right. Yeah. In June, we announced uh, that we acquired a product called Unreview. And what this is going to do is use uh, machine learning, as you said, to identify uh, the appropriate um, code reviewers 
uh, for new uh, merge requests entering a, a code base, which is exciting. Um, and it's a chance for us to do applied ML. Um, and um, it's going to effectively balance uh, review workloads across your team uh, to make the team more efficient and more resistant to um, you know, vacations and other things yeah. that are important to, uh, to, to developers. Um, there's some other things, you know, orthogonal to this project that I think UBS will be eventually benefiting from. Um, I know there's going to be some more workshops uh, that UBS will be able to take part in. Um, we're uh, rolling out the so-called DORA 4 metrics. And so um, deployment frequency, lead time for changes, change failure rate, and time to restore service, a uh, standard set of metrics uh, that are becoming um, kind of a, a way to measure the health and the productivity and the efficiency of any development organization. And you'll be able to get that um, natively from GitLab. Um, and that's just a piece of, of what we're more broadly cover, uh, calling value stream analytics. And so um, a benefit of the single application is you've got your issues, your merge requests, all the other sort of primitives or artifacts um, along that journey from taking an idea to production. And because those all live in the single application, we can extract um, intelligence about that life cycle and point you towards bottlenecks where there may be opportunities to, uh, to improve. No, I think the metrics in the and being in that one single ecosystem, Eric, is absolutely crucial. And I, and it gives us opportunities. We had over a million successful builds in the first six months of DevCloud. And that's the difference. When you can see what's going on there in that entire experience and start to stream that was value stream and get them all aligned in that space, the insights that you can start to gain are tremendous. And then using the machine learning on top of that to be able to start to not only report about the past, but to predict about the future, that's really exciting so that we can actually start to say, we'll have this delivered for you based on the complexity that we see in these sorts of timeframes. Unbelievable, Eric, I can't, I can't for that. And I just think um, the more that we see, the more that we work together, the better that these, these products become for us and, and for you as well. Um, you know, it's just a fantastic experience. And, um, you know, when you talk about agile and DevOps, it's a great concept until you get down to how do you actually implement it? And that, DevCloud is, it's an implementation of all the great ideas, but in such a way, a fantastic experience for everybody involved. Good, yeah, um, you know, as important as, as people are, and that's primary for us, I always say you can't uh, manage what you can't measure, and it seems like you're now uh, well on your way towards uh, living in that world, which is fantastic. Well, Rick, I just want to thank you again for the conversation today. Uh, it was a pleasure to see the teams collaborating with one another. We were very impressed by UBS's uh, development culture. It was very complimentary to our own, and I, I look forward to our continued partnership. And do I, Eric? I, I think that that complimentary nature allowed us to do something really spectacular in a really short amount of time, faster than a lot of people thought was possible, and you couldn't have been a better partner to us, and we look forward to continuing that.